Hi guys, what's up? This is just a little video to explain the process for beginners who are starting to create narration for ACX for narrating um, audiobooks. I'm just going to go over some things like the basics you need before and during recording, um, software, equipment, that sort of thing, and then I'm going to go over principally in this video how you edit these narrations. Um, so yeah, let's just get right into that. Uh, so first of all, where you're recording. So for example, uh, you're going to want to stay away from larger um, rooms like your living room uh, and maybe go into somewhere like um, your bedroom or even a kitchen if you've got a bit of a smaller kitchen. I tend to just use my bedroom. Bedrooms are especially good because you've got like um you've got like blankets, towels, cushions, which kind of absorb some of the noise. It makes it a bit of a better quality sound. Um yeah, I usually actually shut the curtains, but I have decided not to in this case because this is just a video. You don't need <laughs> um stupendous quality audio. Uh but yeah, basically I'd recommend going into your bedroom to record because you're going to get the best sound there. Equipment wise, um, obviously, look, if you're recording professionally for like a high profile novel, um, yeah, you're not, I don't know why you're watching this video, uh, you'll need a high quality studio, um, studio level equipment, etc, etc. But if you're just wanting to use ACX to get a bit of extra cash, kind of do it amateur wise, if you're just, for example, like a voice actor, then you can uh, just get whatever, I mean, the microphone I'm using is, it's a, like £30, so what's that, like um, $40, $50 uh, from Amazon, nothing special, I probably should actually get one that's a little bit better than that, and it's a little lapel microphone, um, but yeah, it's as long as you've got something semi decent, then you'll be able to record with it. And potentially, if you've got a good enough phone uh, or tablet, you could use that. But I prefer to just plug in the microphone and record straight to Audacity, which is the software that I use and we will be using today to record our audio. Um, yeah, I mean, if you don't have it already which I'm assuming we'll have it. It's completely free. I'll stick a link down below. Um, yeah, free to use. And then any plugins that we're going to need later on uh, are also free, of course, and I will link them as well. So, right, let me get right into Audacity. And I'm just going to start off by recording. So I don't really have anything to use, so I'm just using like a little excerpt out of this economics book that I have. So yeah, just to demonstrate, I will be reading out this small section on income tax. And I mean, it's pretty basic, it's just recording, but there's one or two things that you might notice me doing in. Um, if you listen to when I make a mistake, uh, see if you can work out what I'm doing. Well, I mean, it's pretty obvious, but um, have a listen out for that. And yeah, so I'll just go ahead and record this for now. You give me two seconds. Income tax. A much lower method of taxation based on earnings. It was first collected in 1797 by the Dutch Batavian Republic. In the UK, it was introduced in 1799 as a temporary measure to finance a war against Napoleon, abolished in 1816 and reintroduced forever in 1842. In most countries, people do not pay it until their income exceeds a minimum threshold, and richer people pay a higher rate of income tax than poorer people. Since the 1980s, the unpopularity with voters of high rates of income tax and concern that high rates discourage valuable economic activity have led many governments to reduce income tax rates. However, this has not necessarily reduced the amount of total revenue can... However, this has not necessarily reduced the amount of total revenue collected in income tax. Nor do governments that have reduced income tax rates always cut other sorts of taxes. On the contrary, they have often increased them sharply to make up for any revenue lost as a result of lower rates of income tax. 
Okie dokie. So, uh, yeah, so that's that recorded. I'll just click this so that we can see the full thing. And so first of all, in terms of editing, because now we're obviously onto the editing stage. I mean, if you have a chapter, excuse me, then yeah, you're going to have a lot more recording. But this is maybe about the size your sample or your um, audition for a part might be. So this is a good way to start off. Um, so yeah, you might have heard me clicking at that point where I made a mistake. So we'll just listen to it back here. Um, you find out what the start of the next word is. So however, and then you look for that here. So you know that this section here is where I made the mistake. So you can just highlight that um, as you would uh, whatever and delete it. And that should now run smoothly. Righty. Uh, so often there would be more mistakes than that. You just take them all out, do the same thing there. And um, fortunately, I only made one mistake there. Um, but obviously, if you have a longer section, then yeah, you're going to have more mistakes. So first of all, uh, I don't tend to have a problem with this, but sometimes there's quite a bit of background noise, um, especially if perhaps your microphone's um, a bit poor quality or you don't have the necessary uh, like conditions to record in, like maybe you can't uh, get into the bedroom and you're in a, like a larger room and you've got more background noise. Well, that's another thing I was going to say about equipment, actually. It's really ideal to use a laptop. I mean, that's all I have, but um, I would use a laptop anyway if I did have a PC because your laptops are obviously generating a lot less noise than your PC would. Um, but yeah, if you are recording with a PC, then you might need to do this. So uh, you're going to go into effect uh, and then click on noise reduction. Uh, no, you're not. <laughs> Forgetting the basics. So you highlight a little bit first. Effect, noise reduction, and then you click get noise profile. Sort of gives it a general idea. And then you select the full piece of audio. So you can click select here or control and A, command and A um, also works perfectly fine. And then effect, back to noise reduction. And I tend to just use what is there, but you can switch it about to try and get a bit better and click OK. Um, I mean, if anything, that would have just made mine a bit quieter because there wasn't really a problem in the first place. But nonetheless, uh, there, that's how you get rid of some microphone hiss, etc. Right, guys, so now that we have done any, we've removed any mistakes and we have also done the noise reduction, we're going to go on to the actual ACX um, processes that we need to go through. So if I just bring this up, I'll show you how to do this in a minute, but um, we need to sort out peak level, RMS level and noise floor, because you can see on this, all of them are doing pretty badly. And you need to do these for the audio to be appropriate for ACX. So I'll go through the three processes we need to do for this, and then I'll show you how you can set them into a macro, which will just run the process at the click of a button. So first of all, you have got a filter curve. When this comes up for you, it'll be blank, a blank kind of grid here. Obviously, I've already got it, so I've got this curve here. How you create that curve, you go to Manage, Factory Presets, and select Low Roll Off for Speech. I'll come up with that then for you, hopefully. And then click OK. And it should run it for that. Second of all, we've got to run RMS Normalize. Now this is a plugin. I'll go over downloading plugins and setting them up in a second, but just trust me for now. Um, you can go over this. I actually think in a more up-to-date version of Audacity, there's something called Loudness Normalize uh, or something along those lines, which does the same job as this. But for now, I just have the plugin. So if you've got that, great. If not, um yeah, I'll show you how to do download the plugin in a second and I'll leave a link below. Uh so we've got the target RMS level at negative twenty. It'll probably start about like uh, I don't know, something like 17 for you. But yeah, negative twenty is where you want it for ACX. That'll make it pretty big for a second, but then we just want to stick on one last thing, which is the limiter. 
uh, which I've gone right past, it's right here. And these are the numbers you want for it. So soft limit, 0, 0, negative 3, 10, and no. Like that. And that will give you the correct stats. And if we run the check again, well, if we select the audio and then run the check, it gives us a pass on all levels. Now, there's a quicker way to do that. Uh, but first of all, I'll show you how to uh, how to install plugins. So go to the link that I popped down below, download the file, it'll be something.ny for Nyquist, and then click on Add, Remove Plugins. Uh, they should be in new. Uh, so here we've got this here, I'm not sure what it is, but um, you can just click this and enable, and that will be it enabled. Obviously in this case it would be RMS, uh, normalize, or one of the later, um, one of the later plugins that we're using, like um, punch, copy, paste, or the D clicker DSer. But yeah, for now I'll say like, RMS normalize, and then we've got that. Uh, next, we're wanting, so you can obviously do that manually, it doesn't take too long, but if you want to speed up the process any more, you can create a macro for it. So you can see here, I'm already on it. Um, I call it ACXFX, you can call it anything you want. Um, I'll just make it in here just to show you. So ACX FX two, it'll be the exact same thing. Uh, and then you're wanting to insert the exact three things that we just did. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. So what were they? They were first of all, we have the filter curve, and then go up to edit parameters. Uh, obviously it's already there, but if it's not from when you did it before, same thing again. Manage factory presets, um, low roll off um, for speech. Oh, I think I broke it actually, don't I? <laughs> there we go, that's better. So we've got that, and then, so that's okay, first of all, then we want to get our second one, which was the RMS, what should I call it? RMS normalize. Stick that in. Next one, and the last one, well, the second to last one would be, uh, I've forgotten it already, it's the limiter. So you can see it's hiding at the side here. Edit parameters, they're fine, stick it in. And the last one is actually one that I've not talked about yet, is another plugin that you're going to get, which I will link below. And it is called ACX Check, right up at the start here. And that's the thing that I've shown you that tells you if you've passed or failed the things that you need to, so your um, your noise floor, your peaks, etc. Uh, and there you go. Click OK. And then, so that you can do that at the click of a button, um, you have to click Control and P. And that will give you your shortcuts for your keyboard. Um, if it's not on that already, just click on keyboard uh, and then check, uh, search for ACX FX2, I believe I called it, or whatever you called your macro, excuse me. And then you can type in uh, your shortcut for it right in here. So usually I do Control, Alt, and F for my ACX check and processes, but this time what I'll call it, um, Control, Shift, and F. Uh, hopefully that's not already taken, and it is, of course. Um, it can be whatever though, um, as long as it's not that. Uh, so, Control, Shift, and I. I bet that'll be something too, won't it? Oh no, it's not. So there we go. And we'll Control Alt even, not Shift. So then, whenever I do Control Alt and I, it'll run through all of those processes in a row. And yeah, uh, obviously I've already done it, so it won't have changed at all, but um, 
Yeah, that's going to your passes. Right. Now that we've done that, we'll get into some of the more in depth editing stuff. So, most importantly, um, you can like, highlight this bit here and zoom in a bit. Uh, hopefully, this will be louder as well. Well, it definitely will be now that we've edited it. Oh, that's very loud. I don't think you can actually hear that dash it. Um, let me just. Right, fingers crossed you can hear that now, um, but I will switch the volume down a bit because it will be quite loud. Income tax. Perfect. Um, right, so this next important part is about removing the horrible kind of mouth noises like breathing, your like um, mouth clicking, whatever. You're wanting to get rid of that. So uh, what you're wanting to do is just at the start, um, I mean, some people like to use the silencer, uh, which is, I see I don't use it, so I don't even know where it is, but um, basically that just uh, gives you pure, absolute silence. But that doesn't sound too great, because that's not what your room's like. There's a tiny bit of background noise always. Um, so what you want to do is, so I've highlighted this section here of about four seconds, and just play that. Make sure there's no blips or bleeps. Sounds perfect, but you can sort of, so I'll shut up in a second, and you can hear that there's still the rattle, the kind of sizzle of background noise. So what we're going to want to do, and we're going to need two plugins for this, so I'll stick them down below. I believe they are called Punch, Copy and Paste, but let me uh, double check that, because I just used them clicking the button, and I forget what they're called. Um, put down here, yeah, punch, copy, and paste. So you can see, uh, I've downloaded them, I've added them as plugins, as I showed you before, uh, and I've given them these shortcuts. But you can give them whatever shortcuts you want. So highlight this again, and I'm doing Control Alt and C, and that's letting you copy this. So what's the difference between this and just doing your normal copying and pasting? Well, if I were to just copy this here and paste it further along, then what it would do is it would paste the full thing in here. So you've got that, um, excuse me, you've got that huge amount of space now, which you don't want, which you don't want in there, and there I go way past it, but if I zoom out, um, you can see that that around there is far too long. So let me undo that. And what you're actually doing in this case is if you're wanting to get rid of any mouth noises there, the punch paste, which in my case I've got control alt and v, but you can make it wherever, um, it shortens the the clip to fit into that space. It copies what I've got in the clipboard to fit in that space. So um, let me find an example of somewhere where I do, where I am breathing, to show that off to you. So this here. You can hear my mouth kind of clicking a bit, can't you? So if I do Control Alt V, and that takes that out, and it doesn't sound like complete silence. It was. F it just sounds like you're continual, like nothing's happened, no mouth noises, no complete silence, no anything. So that's great. So you just want to go through the whole thing, and this is what can be quite timely. Um, if you've got an entire chapter or something, you want to go through. Excuse me, and take everything out. So like that we bit at the end, um, yeah, so I won't go through this whole thing, uh, you get the idea, but you can play it from start to finish, hear any mouth noises and take them out, or any other noises, it can be whatever, something falls in the background, just clip it out. Um, another plugin that you're going to want is the D-Clicker, which comes with DSer as well, I'm not too sure what that is, um, I don't personally use it, but a D clicker um well so you see you've got this kind of bit of a click there. 
you, sorry, I shouldn't be using my shortcuts. I'll go into effect again. I'll leave a link below. It's a uh, it's a plugin that you need, uh, but just download it, apply it as we did before, and then click on that key clicker. This is what I usually use. Um, honestly, just mess about with it. Use the default usually. The really only one you want to change is this one. So lower down will get um will remove more of the clicks, but you don't want to do that all the time because then you might end up losing valuable um, parts of your speech that you want to keep. So try that. You see how that kind of shrunk down a bit? Like that. And then I can do that again. Based on earnings. And it's still there a wee bit, so you could go a bit further, but based on earnings. Based on earnings. Doesn't sound as bad, does it? Um, what else? So I've been through most of the things. Ah, that's right. So I'm not sure if there'll be an example in here, but sometimes if a word sounds a bit weird, then it was. It might be a bit unbalanced. So it was. It was. I see that's actually all right, but let's just say it was unbalanced. Um, you can highlight this a little bit. And see, I've got a macro to help me with this. So I can go into Tools, Apply Macro. Um, well, I'll just show you the entire thing. Uh, so you've got plus and minus three decibels, um, which it's a lot simpler than the other one. It just, um, it's using the amplify effect. And you go into that, so edit it. And you can see there, uh, I'm amplifying that section of the audio by three points. If that makes sense. Uh, so let me just come out of that. Uh, no, I don't. And yeah, so if you go into effect, uh, actually no, sorry, if you go into tools, apply macro, plus three dB, see it increases the volume of that. Bit. It was first collected. Well, actually, that actually does sound a wee bit better. It was first collected. Because it was a bit quiet at first um, and you can keep going with that obviously I've got my wee shortcut so you can set it to whatever you want uh, let me zoom in it's too far away uh, but yeah that can just make you if you're I don't know like choking on a word or something then that can make it a bit easier for you to mess around with it and you can just increase or decrease the volume by a little bit at a time um, and that is about the size of that, obviously, that's me sped through it. If I was actually um, going to be posting this on ACX, then I'd spend a lot more time going through and making sure it was appropriate for the, um, for the rights owner to, uh, to whatever, uh, to listen to it and they will be impressed by it. Um, I haven't gone over this. But it was first collected as, uh, yeah. That's about all I'll do for a basic audiobook um, sample or chapter. Uh, what's this? Just a random little click there. Well, you can do your push paste, and that gets rid of it. Um, so yeah, uh, that's about the size of that. When you're wanting to export, so for ACX, you're wanting to export as MP3, but I mean, if it's for any other type of narration, whatever you want, whatever's easiest way of maybe for video editing, um, ah, whatever works best. So, but ACX is of course MP3, and then, uh, so it'll usually come starting like this, which is no good, and um, that's the kind of final check you need to do for ACX that you sometimes to do, forget to do it and it flags up. So what you need to do is these three, four even little buttons down here, change it to constant, um, and it should just be instantly 192 KB per, blah, 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 kilobytes per second. Um, if it's anything else, change it to that, and that's you. Um, you just want to save it in whichever folder you choose, save it like that. And then, simple as that, you can plug it over to 
ECX, add it as a sample, or whatever you want to do. But I hope that that helped, and yeah, um, thank you for watching. If you have anything that you think you do better, or is maybe a hint for me, or anything that I taught you here, um, please let me know in the comments below. And apart from that, thanks. Oh yeah, one last thing. I have to actually, two YouTube channels did uh, help me when I was starting up um, on ACX. Uh, and they were the ones that kind of taught me some of these tricks. So I'll just mention them here. I think the channels were called Jenda Bomb, Jenda Bomb and Jacob Mackendoller. Um, he was the one that taught me the clicking method, which a lot of... Uh, narrators use and Jenda Bomb was a kind of macros and plugins uh, informing me about those great things so thank you to those channels and thank you to you guys for watching see you later bye bye